Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our project search info night. So just so you know, we are live streaming on YouTube, but you can't be seen just us here. So that's all you need to know. But we did want to make sure we were able to share all of this excellent information out to as many people as possible because we recognize not everybody can get to a site sometimes. So uh, before we get going tonight, uh, I'd in I'll introduce myself. I'm Leanna Thompson. I'm the superintendent that supports specialized services and special programs in Grand Erie. And uh, I will turn it over to uh, my colleagues in a minute, uh, just after I do the land acknowledgement. So when we come together for any meetings and work in Grand Erie, we always recognize the Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee people as the traditional peoples of the territory. And we want to absolutely acknowledge and give gratitude to our Indigenous peoples for sharing their land in order for us to continue our work here today. So I, like I said, I'm going to turn this over to the people who have done all of the work on the ground, uh, starting with Julie White, the principal leader of special education. So she'll be starting to tell you all about Project Search. Thanks so much and welcome again, everybody. So we're here to share with you this new and exciting program that we have in partnership with Project Search. Um, it's a um, preparation program for employment for students in Grand Erie with intellectual or developmental disabilities. Um, what's really exciting about it is it cannot happen without a strong partnership. And so we are fortunate tonight to have um, our partners here with us. So Grand Erie is here, obviously. Um, and we also have uh, Tara Buchanan here from Community Living Brand. And we also have Shelly Murray here from St. Joseph's Life Care Center and on behalf of the Sedman Hospice. So our partnership is really strong and we're all working collaboratively together to be able to provide this opportunity to our students. And so we hope that you're as excited as we are. And so I think what I'm gonna do at this point is introduce you to Andrea Jane on my left, probably your right. And um, she's going to start sharing with you what Project Search is and what this opportunity can mean for you. So thank you. Take it away. So again, thank you for coming, everybody. And thank you for everybody at home live streaming and learning about Project Search. I am very excited to show you all about this exciting new opportunity that Grand Area is offering to students. To start us off, I'm going to do a little video introduction to Project Search. Every day at every hospital in the country, there is so much work to be done. Every room must be stocked with the essential items to ensure every patient has what he or she needs to be comfortable, to recover in a clean environment, and to ensure that every equipment in the surgical process is perfectly sterile. This is essential to the work of doctors, nurses, and therapists. It is the work of some capable and highly dedicated young people are learning skills and are headed toward a brighter future. This is the work of Project Search. Project Search is a one-year high school transition program that provides skills training and internship opportunities for young adults with disabilities between the ages of 18 and 22. People like Gaffney. I want to hear this is a centralized hospital in America. As Ashley prepares a maternity room in the hospital with guidance from her project search instructor, Jim Keith, she is doing so with her entire routine memorized. And the last piece of it is the pig back hand. She knows what needs to be placed where. She keeps a tight schedule. Whether it's making packets for new moms or stocking supplies for patients in their rooms. This high school student has already gained important work skills during her first internships. Can you learn anything about yourself doing the work? Um, I learned how to stay more sure and stay more responsible to the time. With Ashley, we, we, we noticed in her, she's a very outgoing personality, um, a good work ethic. Um, she tries her best. Um, and those are some qualities that we really look for in the students. Ashley's work in Project Search is part of a collaborative effort to increase the employment outcomes of youth with significant disabilities. 
Project Search, originally founded by Aaron Riley at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital, blends the local resources of businesses, school systems, and rehabilitation services to create a win-win situation for all. The program matches student strengths and interests to free internship opportunities in the business. For Kyle, that means using his mathematical skills to ensure nurses have all the stocked items next to the nursing station ready at a moment's notice. He's in charge of stocking all the kitchen supplies, so without him, the kitchen wouldn't have any supplies at all. Um, and he definitely loves to um, be important. It's very important to him as the work he's doing. So he's um, definitely doing a good job and he's very mathematically minded, so it's easy for him to count. He's an inventory and really enjoys that type of work. For Ronald, that means ensuring surgical instruments are thoroughly cleaned before they're sterilized. Damien now works in the main pharmacy, where medications are placed and replaced before they expire. Annie secured her job in the maternity room. Her newborns and their parents are insured clean surfaces wherever they go. Chris didn't take long to catch on to his responsibilities as an intern. His work and his capabilities earned him a job in the durable medical equipment unit, where he thoroughly cleans the infant isolates and other medical equipment. No concerns at all with Chris. Uh, Chris caught on real fast. Uh, he's a quick learner. Uh, we have good trainers here that work with him diligently um, throughout his process in the beginning. Uh, Chris was actually independently working on his own within two weeks. His enthusiasm is uh, is willing to work. He's on time. Interested student. So that was a little video introduction to Project Search and I'm excited to talk more about it. So Project Search offers a total workplace immersion, as you saw in that video clip, for students with disabilities with the singular goal of competitive employment for every person that graduates from that program. Project Search strives to achieve that goal by creating an atmosphere of very high expectations for the student. Next, worldwide, because this is found worldwide, it hosts 600 host job sites, 80% of Project Search graduates achieve employment with over 70% meeting their strict criteria for competitive employment in their community. Very, very high and very exciting stats. The goal is competitive employment for all Project Search graduates. So a successful pro Project Search outcome is based on a rigorous definition of competitive employment. That includes competitive employment in a career, the graduate works alongside coworkers with and without disabilities. It is a year round non seasonal employment, so it follows the school year, same September to June, non seasonal, at least 16 hours of work each week, and has competitive wages. How is the goal of competitive employment achieved? Each student is matched with work placements that are closely related to their career interests and aspirations. So it's not just a job, it's something that they're interested in, something that they want to achieve and work towards and find employment in their community in a career that they want. Each student learns transferable skills at the host site and can support a variety of employment opportunities out in their own community. Very exciting. So all those work placements help build those transferable skills for a career in the community. The focus of the program is on developing a career, not just finding a job. The community agency linked with the program supports the student's education, employment training, as well as employment search following graduation. So following graduation, they also ha have support to find employment. So a typical, typical daily schedule for the program, at 9 a.m., the student works with the other students inside a classroom found inside the host business from 9 until 10.30 on an employable skills curriculum. And I'll go over that curriculum in just a second. So 9 to 10.30, 90 minutes of school-based learning curriculum that focuses on employability. From 10.30 to 12, they have their work placement inside the host site. At 12 o'clock, they eat their lunch, not back in the classroom at the host site, 
but with their new work peers. With the work peers, very important. From 1245, they continue on with their work placement. At 2.30, they return to the classroom at the job at the job placement site, and they do a little bit of review, evaluate, and write in their journal. And at 3 o'clock, around 3 o'clock, they depart. Again, just a typical daily schedule. So what exactly does the employability curriculum look like? Those 90 minutes each day at that host site in that classroom. So unit one, team building. Unit two, workplace safety, very important. Three, technology, self-advocacy skills, maintaining, employ maintaining employment, financial literacy, health and wellness, preparing for employment, and finally, social and communication. So overview of what the work placements look like. So three work placements rotation at the host site. Each work placement is 10 to 12 weeks in length following the school calendar. The project search teacher and the skills trainers provide the employability curriculum to the students, provide the job training with phased out support over for the students and develop adaptations if the students require that. As well, there's open communication between students and their families. So, where is Project Search in Canada and have I heard of it before? Well, it's at the Halton District School Board in Oakville Trafargo Memorial Hospital, which launched in 2019. It's also at the Toronto District School Board in Holland Bourview and Toronto Rehab, also launched in 2019. Hamilton Wentworth District School Board Education Centre, launched in 2020. And the Winnipeg SCE LifeWorks in Manitoba Hydro Government of Manitoban and Health Sciences Centre, launched in 2011 and 2016. And I am proud to announce Project Search Brantford. And Shelly is here to talk about the wonderful host site that Grand Erie has partnered with. Welcome, Shelly. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Shelly Murray. I'm the Spiritual Care Transitions and Support Care Coordinator at St. Joseph's Life Care Center. So St. Joseph's Life Care Center is not just a long-term care, but it's also a campus of care that includes the Stedman Community Hospice, and we have several independent medical offices and services on site. We are the largest long-term care home in Brantford with 205 beds. We are, uh, have an excellent record with the Ministry of Health, of long-term care and public health. We were accredited with exemplary standards. We're a proud member of the St. Joseph's Healthcare System. And we, are, we have the highest resident and family satisfaction surveys within the system since 2012. And we are supported by funding through our foundation. We're located at 99 Wayne Gretzky Parkway. So as you can guess, that means we're the great one. Um, we also have Stedman Community Hospice as part of our campus. And our hospice opened in 2004. And we've been providing outreach service and in-service patient care to Brant, Six Nations, and the Norfolk counties. Uh, there's 970 families that have been supported through our outreach services and 1,838 patients that we've cared for in the hospice since opening on site. So there are 55 employees and 95 volunteers in the hospice. So it is a very small home-like environment that is uh, surrounded with loving care for those who are at end of life. So we've been looking at the different possibilities for internships and placements where you will build your skills career um, and future guideways for pathways for life. So we've got, uh, you could work on cook preparation, dietary aid, um, in the recreation department, that would be learning organization and planning skills, uh, working with our maintenance team. So that would be, could be painting, small repairs, items like that. There could be the opportunity for the landscaping um, of our beautiful gardens. We have a lovely set of gardens with water features and a pond. There will be portering opportunities, which is assisting residents to and from activities, the dining room for their meal assistance. There's opportunity in our laundry department if you want to learn 
how to uh, work in a commercial laundry environment, as well as clerical opportunities and also housekeeping. So there are many, many opportunities for internships that you can work to meet your own individual goals. Thank you. Thank you, Shelley. And I'm going to welcome Tara from Community Living. And Tara, you're here to tell us about our perfect partnership. Yes, hello, welcome everybody. Um, so the perfect partnership, we've already heard about how um, Project Search has this long standing, they have over 10 years of experience. So they're bringing all the history with them, all the knowledge. So they're one of the partners. Then we have you all, so the participants and the families, guardians, really important to make sure that we're staying on track and that it's really um, a goal that people are working towards and we're integrating it into our lives, not even just as a placement, but more like a real work experience with that kind of focus. Then we have obviously the wonderful community partners. So with Stedman Hospice and St. Joe's Life Care, there's so many opportunities, um, different jobs available. So that's going to make sure that everybody can have a great match and really learn some skills that they're interested in. And then I'm here um, with Community Living Brand. So a little bit about Community Living Brand. We've been doing employment support for um, over 30 years. So in that we go on the job with folks it's actually very individualized so it depends on what kind of supports you need that's the type of support you get so we can do on the job coaching where we actually go on like to the site um, and we stay as long as needed so that would be the same in this situation as well we also do person-centered planning um i just want to make sure i go in the right order just so that okay navigating accommodations um, so if there is anything that you need, we can try to help problem solve that. Um, and maybe something that you don't even know, but maybe there's a hiccup that comes along the way. And that's why on the job is so important because we stay long term. That way, if something comes up three months in, a year in, we can try to help you navigate that in your employment. Um, so then we have person-centered planning and goal setting. Um, really important. Again, it's all very person-centered. So we want to make sure it's exactly what you want um, or maybe things you haven't even explored. Maybe it's helping you explore those gifts and talents that you haven't even thought about yet. Uh, also resume, the basics, right? Resume, interview, all of those skills that we have to get good at, but aren't always the most enjoyable. And then job development. So um, like Andrea said, after your placement, we go out and we do talk to businesses on your behalf. We love to include you all in it as much as possible. So if you feel comfortable doing that, we encourage it. But we want to work with you to talk to businesses and let them know what they're missing out on, right? Because we, especially after these placements, you're going to have huge skills that are valuable to employers. Okay, so then... We've heard from all the other pieces. So now we've got the family. We talked about it a little bit already. Okay, perfect. So um, you want to support your family member in each placement. So there's going to be three. Hopefully all three of them are as engaging as the next. There's probably going to be one that might not be. So just making sure we can stay on track. Um, we want to reinforce life skills and training at home. The more we can integrate this stuff into our everyday life, the more it's going to stick with us. So that's really helpful. Transportation is key. So we, there isn't transportation necessarily incorporated into this. It is your responsibility to get to work or school, however you want to look at it. Um, and with it, be, it is on a bus route though. So that's excellent. And we can work with you, but initially it is completely uh, your responsibility to get to 99 Wingroski Parkway, the great one. Okay. Um, and then there's six planning meetings. So in each placement, you have two planning meetings. And we really, well, Project Search and all of us would really like family input as well. So it is the responsibility of the family to participate in those. How, what that looks like can vary. We can be flexible around how that happens virtually, in person, the timelines, all of that. But we think your input would be really valuable at all of those check-ins.
Great. So a little bit about the uh, more about the employability meeting. So um, the focus at those meetings that we would really highly encourage parent or guardians or anybody that's there to support um, the intern or the student um, to really focus on the progress that they're making in developing their skills and help them to be able to find success moving forward. Um, anyone, again, involved in the student's employment goal could be participating. So as shared, there would be a teacher that's going to be on site every single day. There's also going to be a skills trainer on site every day, as well as um, the employees that um, students would be working with at the Life Care Centre. And so again, two meetings per work placement, and that would be six meetings total over the course of the full school year. So student criteria for eligibility. So just some things to remember, um, 18 years of age or older um, for September. And so I believe if the student is turning 18 by December of that school year, because we have some students like me that are born in December, they would be able to start at 17 um, in their last year of high school. Um, and what we mean by that is you may be in year four, year five, year six, whichever year you're in. The goal is that you've made a decision um, as a family that that is going to be the last year so that you can transition right into employment. So if a student feels that after this year they would want to go back to school for more credits or courses, we would suggest that they wait a year and do this in their last year so that they're graduating and moving right into the workplace. Um, we've already talked about what uh, student's exceptionality may be. Um, we, we are looking for students who have at least some communication skills that we can build on and develop. Obviously appropriate behavior for the workplace and some social skills. Also recognizing that we will be working on developing those things that are appropriate for the workplace as well, if that's necessary. Able to take direction. Um, their own means of transportation, meaning they do have to get to the work placement, the same as our cooperative education students would in the school board, um, a desire to work and want to learn and have employment upon graduation. So our application process, um, we have packages available in person here tonight, but application packages are available through the school learning resource teacher as well. And uh, the school learning resource teacher would be happy to support you in completing the application if you do require any assistance. It is asking for a lot of information, so please reach out to the learning resource teacher to help with that. We don't want the application package to be a burden at all or a barrier to students being able to apply. Um, also part of the uh, process is that we do need to review the application packages. There is only 10 spaces available. So there will have to be some decisions made based on the applications that come in um, around the students that we feel can be both viable in the program and benefit from it this year. And there will also be a skills assessment day and interview day. And that will be held at St. Joseph Life Care Center in Sedman Hospice. And it is scheduled for Tuesday, May the 31st. And part of that application process is uh, students do need to come and participate in that day. It's a highly supported day where they rotate from activity to activity that just allows us to get a little bit of a sense of their current skills and what we would be building on at the start of the program. I think I already shared this, that where you can get the application package from. Also, one of the uh, handouts tonight, um, and again, this can be uh, received from a learning or the school learning resource teacher for those listening at home, but it's just a quick snapshot and overview of the program okay, and everything that we've talked about tonight. And I'm just going to turn it back over to Andrea to wrap up. So oh, you've heard everything about Project Search, and you can see what the application process was briefly put up, the application package, the front of it. And we have application packages at the back for everyone to learn. So please take one, look at it, start to fill it out. And again, see some assistance from your learning resource teacher. So we have come to the conclusion of our presentation on a wonderful, exciting new Project Search Brantford. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, so you can start to fill it out yourself and then take it back to the school. There is a, a component for teachers to fill out about uh, work, uh, work styles at school, right? 
Um, so yes, definitely start to fill it out now. Take it back. Talk to your learning resource teacher and the learning resource teacher can help you with that. Um, I just want to note for individuals who are watching this through the live stream, if you have questions, please follow up with your homeschool learning resource teacher and your homeschool learning resource teacher will connect with one of us to find those answers and get back to you. The question was around submitting the application and it can be submitted through the school. 